And we're back to killing nameless lobster friends. Why? For the glory of Satan, of course. The only reason anyone ever kills lobsters. Bet you didn't even know that much about lobsterology. This is an educational program. I keep expecting there to be more to it than this, but then I remember this is what an MMORPG is. This mm -hmm. is this is what I bought. I'll just take the loot for everyone. I'll be the treasurer. It's okay, everybody. I'm a treasurer. And I will truly treasure the loot that you all work so hard for. What's the rest of your guild like? Um, not really quite sure. I just joined them today. They're like, hey, are you going to build Riveting. Do they need a bard? Because um, I, like I feel like that's where I'd fit in best as, as like a musical funny man bard character. Because as bards go, I feel like I, I have a lot to offer. Uh, I'm the only bard who does dubstep. You try doing dubstep on a leer. It's not. It's not easy. I think I will go and talk to the developers about putting bird class in here. Fuck yeah! I I'll just make it work in the meantime. Brave, handsome Zamboro, strongest in the land. Arms of steel, brain of sand. Wow, this one's really tough. Oh, my shield just might have been blocking it. Here. In fact, that's what was... No, it... Yep, never mind. So I was making basically every new mistake, wasn't I? And that's why everything was kicking my ass. Well, that's okay. It doesn't really go over all the combos and everything in the tutorial. And of course, I spent most of the tutorial trying to kill Bart. But he's immortal. He's like the real... Like, end level enemy of this game. It's gonna be Bart. Watch mm -hmm. it happen. <sighs> that shouldn't have winded me. Fun stuff. Running around as a shielder. Not even using a sword. Well... Did you fix your shield controller fast, issue or not? Wield shields. Hell yeah, that's the fucking oh. loadout. That's the OP loadout. It's two shields. The pacifist class. Mm -hmm. You like you trying to negotiate peace with the enemies. And then when they don't back down, you just shield bash the crap out of them. Or you roll for seduction. That too. How you go about seducing Natural a lobster man is your own business. Wait, 
your turn. Oh, that's so cool. Mm, that's your special. You're gaining increased attack power. I understood like a third of that. So when you successfully complete combos, the yellow bar on your shield underneath your health will go up. And once that's at the same level, press both of the triggers and that's your super ability. Awesome. There's so much to this game. But don't take my word for it. But bump bump. Yes, receive my sexual fury, lobster man. Close one. Mm. What? What now? Command me. What now is? Oh, you have a ring. What does your ring do? I. Oh, my rings? They're giving me more critical attack power. So my left one is giving me wisdom, which is spell power. And my right one is giving me more critical chance, plus 10 crit chance. I found some enchanted rings in the store in the mall that sold a bunch of knives and replica swords. And I think they only gave like negative 10 to money. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't say it would be funny, I didn't promise you shit. What does that do? What does the horn do? The horn draws eyebrow. So like a jazzy horn solo could just kill them? Without even like laying a hand on them? Maybe? Mm -hmm. This is a music game now. Do what? It's a musical game. There's fucking horns. Yeah. Why not? You know, this was all foretold in the Bible literally hundreds of years ago. It said, Yea, the lobster men shall come, and ye shall defeat them with thine horns. So saith the Lord. In like, fourth Nachelonians. <laughs> Fucking laughing at this Bible learning that I'm dropping on you. Left. Up. My adventure continues upon this day. Oh, it doesn't let me heal until I'm out of the battle. Mm -hmm. No, no, go away. I have to collect the loot. That's my... I have the most important job. Oh, shit, I'm fucking dead. Fuck. Well, I have no idea where my party has gone to. I'm just going to wander. 
aimlessly until somebody either finds me or maybe I can kill this Pikachu now. Yeah, bitch, what's up? Level three. Yeah. Yeah, Pikachu. Bitch. You too. Your friends too. Your whole family. Feels good, man. Here's one of those sheep. Just gonna make sure. Because sometimes they get up and turn into crimson heads. I don't need any help anymore. I'm strong, independent black woman. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Don't need no man, or dwarves, or elves. I think it's how that went originally. This has become markedly more fun now that, like, bushes and clouds can't kick my ass just by looking at me. Like, by breathing on me. Oh, it's two wizards. It's two, if we hang back and wait... There's a small chance we could witness wizard sex. Sensual beard on beard action. Fucking bristling beards rubbing up on one another. We should be so lucky. <laughs> They're speaking some kind of moon rune language. Maybe invented for this very game. Like how Rush, how uh, German was invented for Call of Duty. And the adventurers were never to meet again. For it was not preordained. Unless this is her. Is she fishing? You can fish in this game? This game has everything. Breath of the Wild, BTFO. I want to fight a fox and see if I can do anything against it. I can even beat foxes. I have become likened unto a god. This too was foretold by me ten seconds ago. There you are. I mean, I found you. What were you doing fucking around? Hmm. We have important things to do. There are so many lobster men minding their own business. Just think about it. it makes it makes my blood boil. They're just minding their own fucking business all over the place. Like they own the joint. Hmm. Let's put a go let's oh, put a stop I to that. Get going. Oh, all right. I'm gonna wander around and probably get myself killed a couple times. And when it is over 30 minutes, that's an episode, and that's literally as hard as I work for one of those videos. Hmm. I would tell you to subscribe, but oh, probably yeah. there's no point to it. Oh, I'm also getting a YouTube channel going. Really? Do you do gameplay stuff mm -hmm. on here? Like, I haven't yet, but... Like, not everybody has VR, so you can... If you do VR-only content, which is what I do, it, it differentiates you. And really, the only way to succeed on YouTube now is to do something different from what most other people are doing. Anyways. Well, you have a good night. Yeah, you too. It's four in the morning. Real vampire hours. That's where it's at. That's where the real OGs play all their games. Alright. Later. I have transcended sleep. And I talked to a girl. You all saw it. It was a real one this time. It wasn't just 
a wig that I put on top of a pile of buckets. That's not to disparage Bucket Wife. She and I had some very meaningful times together until I accidentally knocked her over. And the funeral service that I held for her was beautiful, in my opinion. I mean, some people ruined it by asking, probing inappropriate questions in such an emotional time, like, why are you burying a bunch of buckets? And sir, this is a golf course. Could you please leave? That really didn't do much to expedite healing, in my opinion. Oh fuck, I've bit off more than I can chew. I actually fucking killed the spoopy ghost! ZOMBIE GHOST LEAVE THIS PLACE! Am I seeing this right? Is it, is it just a penis stick? Is there a dude buried here? Waiting for somebody to come along and try to pick his penis, thinking it's a mushroom? I'm not going to play your game, pervert. I played that game many a time myself, so you got to get up pretty early to pull the wool over my eyes. How did that phrase originate? Was there actually a dude who was just hanging out someplace and wool got pulled over his eyes? And he was like, where am I? What's going on? There's, there's wool over my eyes. I can't tell. The perfect crime. Maybe I dare to attack yet another spook. How are they hanging out in the sunlight? They're humanoid. What are these? Are these Jawas? Are these like Star Wars Jawas? Ooh, teeny! That combo is not working. There it goes. Nope. Almost. They're just barely too badass for me. I was wearing the titty hat. Like Christina. What secrets are concealed beneath that helmet, I wonder? What secrets, dangerous or sexual? Or both, sometimes those two things overlap. That's when you call for an adult. And then you realize you are the adult. And you have a existential crisis about aging and mortality. Or maybe that's just me, I don't really know how widely applicable I This is beautiful during the daytime. Like my my first experience was during the nighttime and things kind of looked poopy, but they don't they still look kind of poopy but like a nice nice poop, like the ones that come out solid and they coil up neatly like the poop emoji. Oh, can I get over there? This this is like uh this is like how everybody who played RuneScape when they were 14 imagined the game looking in their dreams. This is, this, that's what this is. This is fucking first person RuneScape. I can't be the only one to have made that connection. Or the, the X-rated parody, Poonscape. Yes, I'm proud of myself for having come up with that, just off the cuff. That's patent pending, by the way, as of now. This is dope. This is, now that I'm up off the ground and, and have a basic understanding of how to kill shit successfully. I have this huge expansive world that's totally fleshed out. And it's not like most RPG or I mean most VR games with big worlds where all there is to do is wander around and look at shit. This is an actual there's fucking quests and shit for me to do. And I like the fact that it has the simple aesthetic. For one thing, it runs well, despite the overhead. And for another thing, it looks like a virtual world. Oh man, critical hit. Yes! Eat shit! Don't actually, that's unhygienic. You can get sepsis by doing that. If it's your fetish, I respect your lifestyle choice, so long as we don't eventually have to tolerate having restaurants with special 
sections for people who like to eat roasted turds. And then if you say, oh, wow, it smells like shit, you get charged with a hate crime and you, you lose your job and you can't support yourself anymore because nobody will hire you. Did he hire... Did he fucking cast a healing spell on himself? Can he do that? That's bullshit. Oh, wow. I have all this fucking shit now. Wow. Wow. I have a titty helmet. Oh, dope. This is getting better and better. As shit tends to once you figure out what you're doing. I better sell some of that shit. I don't really need it. I have a bunch of beginner swords. Lesser eye. What makes it lesser? Don't be racist. Harvester. No, that's just the thing that I gather this shit with. I look marginally less like a tourist now. It can, it can heal itself. Yes, oh, it, it almost got me too. What is that? Why is that dude floating? How you floating? How you, you, you just hanging out there? On this Wind Waker ass water? I guess that's how, the way that he likes to live his life and he thinks everything's going to be just fine. There's a floating Pikachu. All right, now I know that's not normal. What? How come that's allowed? Is that just okay now? Is that the state of the world these days? Appalling. 125. Five more minutes of this. Yes, I'm getting pretty good at this, I think. I'm defeating enemies that would not realistically trouble a bab. A literal bab in like a baby carriage. Have you seen those robotic baby carriages now that apparently like mothers are so disinterested and in, un uninvested in taking care of their own children that now there's autonomous baby carriages that run along, that move alongside you as you jog? Because God knows, if you're a single mother, you better be fit as hell, or you're not going to have much luck dating. I don't want to fuck with the fucking deer yet. They're scary. They're scary. Deer are scary. Okay? I said it. There's a giant bell up there. Look at these fucking... Look at these... Look at these quake-ass rocks. 12 polygons per rock. Unprecedented. Unprecedented detail. That's graphics technology not seen anywhere since 1993. At the latest. Oh, I don't want to challenge three of you. I want to read what that sign says, though. Oh, I need portal spells. A rune mage regent. Re re that's regent. Like president regent? Okay. Okay. So if I get some kind of magical juju shit, I can fast travel. That's pretty good to know. This is looking good for like a Nintendo 64 game. This is like N64 in VR. This is what we imagined it would be like. That's the thing though. 
like when you first started to when you first became aware of VR and were imagining what it was going to be like, you couldn't picture how good graphics were going to get. So you pictured the graphics of the day, but in VR. And that's kind of what we're getting here. And that's kind of charming because it realizes the dream as we envisioned it when we were just wee little babs ourselves. Although I imagine people with legs. I don't know about you. I have no weird amp like quadriplegic VR character fantasies. Maybe just that one time. That was not my proudest fap. I would say that my proudest fap was to Slimer from the real Ghostbusters. Because there's nothing sexy about him. He's just like rolls of, of fat. He looks like the back of a, of a fat dude's neck. Uh, this is where we were. This is where we were fighting the fucking crab people. Oh, cast some kind of fucking spell on me. Can I go? I can go up here. I'm supposed to be completing some kind of mission, but honestly, I have no idea where I was supposed to go. I went where I thought the stag would be. Oh, cool. Now there's spiders. Dare I? Dare I even begin to? Oh, waterfall. Look at this. Look, look at this shit coming out. I'm vaping through my sword. You thought it couldn't get any more obnoxious. And now we have mall ninja swords you can vape through. Everything I joke about eventually becomes real, though, so I'm kind of scared to say stuff like that. Like when I said probably eventually Starbucks will sell grilled cheese and PB&J for like $6 a sandwich, and then they actually started doing it. Woe unto any who underestimate the depths to which they will sink. Oh, really? Really? So there's humans I have to fight. There's human people that I have to fight and kill. That's news to me. But that is all for this time. Stay tuned for the next episode and watch me continue to gradually learn things that probably most people picked up a lot faster. Um, probably most people did not spend their first hour trying to kill a Pikachu, for example. <laughs>